Welcome back. In this video, let us detect round objects. Let us go to the MATLAB help section and then go to image processing toolbox and then look at the examples. And let's go to the example where we detect, where we identify round objects. Okay. Let's open this example, run this code line by line just as always and see what happens at every step. So first you detect the image and display it and here's how the image will look like. And you need to detect the round objects here. The next thing that you're going to do is convert this image to grayscale. Okay, so I is your grayscale image. I am sure of I would be the grayscale image of it. And then you're applying, uh, you're just converting it to binary here. So this is your binary image. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of problems with this binary image with some distortions like this and like this. So to remove them, we are going to apply some, uh, to remove the noise, we are going to apply some image processing algorithms. First, we would do a BW area open comma 30, which means that it would, uh, strip away all the objects which have pixels less than 30. Uh, okay. Uh, and the next step, what we are going to do is I am close of uh, using this morphological element. We are applying an I am close function, which is actually a combination of dilation, dilation and then erosion. So uh, here, uh, you're going to do I am close and the next step is I am fill and that's the place where the holes are filled. Uh, you have the big holes here, right? They are filled using the I am fill function. So yeah, this is your enhanced image and it looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do is use the BW boundaries function and you take both the parameters. So B has the pixel values of the boundaries of all the objects and L has the pixel values of the boundaries, including what's inside. So first, what we are going to do is plot L. Okay. So this is how L looks like uh, it has a number of, uh, and all this part is not included in L. L is what's inside these objects. And the next thing that, oops, I'm sorry. And the next thing that we are going to do is plot the boundaries. So after we plot the boundaries, it looks like, I'm sorry, it's not, uh, let me just run this part again. Um, evaluate section. So uh, after you plot the boundaries, you get the you get white at the boundaries also. And the next thing that we are going to do is extract the region properties from L, which is the pixels that are, uh, which are the pixel values inside the object. And. Uh, Using the boundary pixels, you calculate the per uh, perimeter using this equation. And then using uh, the statistics that you get from the region properties function, you calculate the area. And then you take this metric 4 pi, uh, uh, 4 pi area divided by perimeter square. And this metric would uh, tell you if the object is round or round or in another shape round objects would give a value closer to one and other objects would give uh, a lesser value so um, you're going to display the metric and if the metric is greater than a threshold which is 0 0.94 then what would happen is it would plot a uh, it would just plot uh, a dot at this at the centroid, and then uh, so that's pretty much what's happening inside this loop. And let's run this. Oops, um, sorry. Okay, let me run the whole thing again.
uh, yeah so this is the final output where you have uh, these circles only inside uh, the only inside the circular objects we had this threshold of 0 0.94 right so we have circles only here and uh, the other project uh, the other objects are not so round and uh, I hope you got the point of this program and I hope you you learned something thanks for watching